Hello, Jesus Freak 777 has made a video in which he asks atheists to submit their own Ten Commandments. He believes that there is no, nothing better than the Ten Commandments to tell us how to live our lives. He believes there's nothing you can take away from the Ten Commandments, and there's nothing you can add to them. They're perfect just the way they are. I would disagree. I believe we can improve on the Ten Commandments, that there are some things we can take out, and there are some things that we ought to add. And so I'm going to present here what I call a humanist hexadecalogue, which is a set of 16 commandments. The first 10 are based on the Ten Commandments from the Bible. Sometimes a ma there's a major modification, sometimes there's just tweaking or adding some details. And the remaining six are things that the Bible and the Ten Commandments don't really concern themselves with too much, particularly the Ten Commandments. The Bible may concern them itself with some of them. Okay, just to clarify here, humanists and atheists are not the same thing. A humanist is someone who places the value of human life above other values, and an atheist is someone who does not believe in a god. Now there is a huge overlap between these two, but there are atheists who are not humanists, such as communists and maybe objectivists, and there are humanists who are not atheists, such as Christian humanists. So let me begin with the first of my uh, humanist hexadecalogue. Number one, the value of human life. Place no value before the value of human life. Remember that human life, or analogous sentient life, is the source of value. Respect this in both yourself and others, regardless of race, color, gender, age, disability, creed, sexual orientation, or other differences between people. The second one, avoid idolatry. Do not serve or worship idols. Do not make yourself a slave to any cult, ideology, person, or obsession. Do not place blind faith in any creed, book, prophet, or deity. Always think for yourself. Number three, do not curse in God's name. Well, this is an easy one for atheists to follow. Not so hard, easy for some theists to follow. Do not invoke the name of God to curse or condemn others. Never threaten people with eternal damnation and hell. Never misuse the idea of God to terrorize people or to frighten them into submission. Never invoke God to justify hatred or intolerance. Number four, which I think captures the spirit of the original one about the Sabbath day. Regularly take time for yourself. Play, relax, and do things that are meaningful to you. Don't live a life of slavery to work and drudgery. Take time to appreciate, enjoy, and celebrate your life because it's your life that gives value to your work, not vice versa. Number five. Respect the dignity of your parents or parental figures. It is natural for them to love you and want what is best for you. As long as they do, honor their place in their, your life and treat them with kindness. Even if you must disagree with them, treat with respect the love they give you. And here's an important detail which does not appear in the original Ten Commandments. As a parent or parental figure, care for your children and act in a way to merit their respect. Number six, do no harm. Do not commit murder. Do not abuse others or treat them with cruelty. Do not seek to harm others, whether physically, financially, or emotionally. As best you can, do no harm to others and seek to minimize any harm you must do to protect yourself or others from harm. Number seven, respect marriage. Marriage is a human sacrament that sanctifies the relationship between two adults who love one another and have chosen to commit to each other. Do not engage in or acknowledge the validity of plural marriage, child marriage, forced marriage, or any one-sided marriage in which only one side consents. 
Remain faithful if married, and always respect the marriages of others. When needed, allow for divorce, but only when it can be shown that the marriage will not work. Number eight, do not steal. Do not steal. Do not cheat people. Do not pirate or claim ownership to intellectual property that is not your own. Number nine, be honest. Deal with people honestly and never lie to yourself. Be intellectually honest. Avoid sophistries, fallacies, and empty rhetoric. Do not defraud others. Do not bear false witness against others. Do not plagiarize others. And finally we get to number 10, which is based on the original one that says do not covet. And here taking inspiration from Buddhism, it says, do not let yourself be consumed with cravings for what you cannot or should not have or for what you may one day lose, for this will cause you suffering. Make yourself at peace with what you cannot change, accept defeat gracefully, love and appreciate without undue attachment. And now we get into commandments that are not covered by the original Ten Commandments. Number 11, no slavery. You may never own anyone as a slave, never treat anyone as a slave, and do not force yourself on others. Always respect the autonomy of others, always allowing them to live for their own ends and purposes. And note here, this is a clause against rape. Do not force yourself on others. Number 12, protect the commons. Protect the world we share in common. Avoid polluting and littering. Preserve plant and wildlife. Keep the environment safe and clean for others and help preserve it for future generations. Number 13. Do not patent life. No one owns the code of life. Do not claim or recognize any intellectual property rights and DNA or anything else that is self-replicating. Do not sue farmers for planting the seeds from their own crops. Number 14. Pursue education. Pursue education. Develop your mind. Learn about the arts and sciences. Study the humanities. Seek after wisdom and knowledge. Learn to question and think. Encourage others to also pursue education. Number 15. Seek to be a good and virtuous person, for such people are happier and do more good in the world. Develop habits of doing the right thing. Avoid extremes and aim for the mean between them. That last part refers to Aristotle's understanding of virtues as a mean between two extremes. And here if you want to pause it, you have a list of some virtues. Love, politeness, fidelity, prudence, temperance, justice, generosity, compassion, mercy, courage, gratitude, humility, simplicity, tolerance, purity, gentleness, good faith, and humor. And finally we get to number 16. Live your life in a way that is meaningful to you. You may find meaning through love and service, through creativity, or through facing suffering. Live a life you feel really matters and counts for something. Thank you for watching. If you agree with these 16 commandments, please like or favorite this video.